Hello, Jason. Yeah, Jason here. How's it going, Simon? It's going good, man. How you doing up there? Not bad at all. How are you doing in the, the land of rock and roll right now? Oh, well, there's not that much rock and roll going on <laughs> at the moment, but uh, I'm working on it. <laughs> yeah, that's too bad. Uh, everybody's like not doing too much right now. How, how's your career going right now? I mean, you're just <laughs> hanging out? Yeah, basically. We, we, we bought a new home, so we're sort of moving into that. Um, I, you know, like last year, I mean, like everybody, I mean, like, like a lot of musicians, there wasn't a lot going on, but the last couple of months have been, you know, I've got a couple of things happening. I did a, an album um, with a friend of mine called Stuart Smith, and his band is called Heaven and Earth, okay. which was pretty cool. That was good to do. We're all, all good friends. Um, and then a couple of weeks after that, another friend of mine, Kevin Gucci, called me up. He has a band called Up Gods and Monsters, and uh, I've done that album as well. So, last couple of months, it's been really busy. It's been a while since I've done two albums in in one year, you know. So we're, you're working with Stuart Smith now, or just like one off. I, ju I just did the album. Uh, okay. He has a deal with Frontiers for another, excuse me, another two albums. Um, it's all finished and mixed, um, it, but it's going to be released in August, so it's a little bit of a ways off before it's released. But uh, yeah, I've known Stuart for quite a long time, and uh, it's always, you know, good to get together with him and jam and stuff and all. And Lynn Sorensen is on bass from uh, Paul Rogers' band, uh, a bad company. And uh, there's a new singer, uh, a French guy called Jean Luc. Okay. And uh, they brought in a keyboard player. I, I, I can't remember his name. Because um, it was all done on the internet, sending files. So I didn't, I've never met the guy yet. So. And let's say, Simon, to record albums like that online, is it more complicated or, you know, you've got your own studio and it's pretty simple? How, how is it for you to do this now? Yeah, that's a good question. No, I, I, use, um, I use a studio in Redondo Beach. Okay. Um, a guy called Wynn Davis, he did the Dio albums and stuff, and he's done a hell of a lot of albums down there. Very reputable producer and... Uh, I always try to get him and go down there and record my drums down there. Well, that's good because it means you don't have to just set them up and mic them yourself at home. Yeah, I, I don't do that. I, I, you know, I could, I could probably try it, but I, I don't do that. I'd simply use a real studio. Well, that's awesome. You know, when the studios are so open to that, works uh, very well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there were, there were still precautions taken with the COVID thing, you know, wearing masks and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't have to wear one while I was playing because I was in the room on my own. But, you know, the people in the control, they had to wear masks and, you know, wash your hands, do all the stuff that we're, that we're so used to doing now, you know. Right. And, uh, so, and besides yeah. that, are you participating in a lot of other stuff or is it, you know, just... Um pretty much enjoying life and, and taking it easy right now yeah pretty much enjoying life uh, you know best you can with all this crap going on with COVID um, although uh, um, as we're speaking now I think it's easing up a bit you know so it's a good thing um, I just actually agreed to do a show in July in uh, near Philadelphia with the Gods and Monsters. So um, that'll be a, you know, I'll definitely need some rehearsals for that. <laughs> right. I, have, I, haven't, I haven't really played live and, and all for quite a while. So, uh, but I'm looking forward to that and looking forward to the future. Simon, with Dio Disciples, is there anything going on for that in the near future? No. No, not really at the moment. Um, that got to put to one side a couple of years ago when, when we started getting involved with uh, the Dio Returns hologram. 
so I think um, you know at some point hopefully you know that will uh, we'll be able to get that up and running again um, once the, uh, some of the concert halls open up and the clubs hopefully so yeah we're, we're, we're more or less concentrating on deal returns and for working with Ann Bull and how's uh, you guys doing anything on that music wise no no not really um, she is a uh, lawyer so she's very 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 busy with that um, you know we have a home here together and she has an office uh, uh, somewhere else in the valley and stuff um, so yeah she's just extremely busy I mean she, she'd love to do some she, she was talking the other day about doing some jamming you know we've got enough room here so maybe we'll uh, get a room together and put some keyboards in there you know mic everything up maybe and uh, do, do a bit of jamming with friends and so she still wants to sing but she's just very 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 busy with this legal stuff so it's like that it's a slow time for everybody in music and um even slow for you you know in a sense there's no more touring and and do you foresee that it, it might go back to something like maybe in 2022 well uh, there's there is oh as far as touring yes i, I probably I, I would i would guess and i hope yeah 2022 um you know full-on tours where you're you know together on a bus i don't see that happening this year um, I did talk about that show I've just signed up for uh, with the Gods and Monsters, but that's just a that's just a one one off show at the moment. Right. But hopefully, yeah, next year um, we can get the touring circuit back up and running for everybody. That would be fantastic. Well, Simon, I appreciate you taking the time and uh, you know giving us a a light on you know your your projects you're doing. That's awesome. Oh, my pleasure, Jason. Any time. Yeah, Any bit... time that was short. Well, <laughs> you know, it's 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 short and sweet interviews, and I I find that's the the way the people have their attention spans today. They 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 like to to have the news, and that's about it. Mm, yeah, that's fair enough. Absolutely. Well, yeah, it was good talking with you, Jason. Any time, give us a call. I'll uh, I'll fill you on fill you in if I'm doing anything. <laughs> All right. Well, I appreciate that, man. And uh, you you take care, Simon. You too, Jason. Try to stay warm up there. I shall try to. All right, you have a good night. Oh, you too. Thanks, Jason. You're welcome. Bye. Bye, bye man.